Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very beautiful verse from the Bible as we read Psalm 20 verse 3. Here it says, Turn to ashes, O not for thee my fading fires, the ashes of my heart. May I tell you a tale of the African world. It concerns the fire lily, a grass fire in a hill country is one of the most wonderful sights in a wonderful land, surpassing in subtle attraction the grandeur of a world fire on the plain with its roaring flames leaping skyward as they lick up the tall dry grass among the mountains where the grass is very much shorter you watch with tireless fascination the long running lines of light on the distant heights something like illumination of a town seen from far away. With morning, the scene is changed. You lift your eyes to greet the mountains you love and they answer you with blackened faces a little longer. And these same hills are clothed in springing green. And from the ashes, one of the first of the flowers rises the fire lily like a scarlet flame. Beauty for ashes. Here are the very words of God incarnate in his works. The matchless message of Isaiah 61 verse 3 comes with a deeper meaning as we consider the fire lily. Its story unfolds the Old Testament promise in the radiance of New Testament light. For it shows by what means God would make actual in our experience the glorious possibility of resurrection life. When we surrender our old nature to God that he may carry out the death sentence pronounced upon it, he accepts it in the only way he ever accepted a sacrifice by turning it to ashes. Psalm 20 verse 3 And where the fire has been there springs from the ashes of the old life, the fire lily of the fire swept hills. Yes, of the beauty of Christ as we see the fire lily of the beauty of Christ as more ground is daily yielded on the fire except the hills of our inner life will be wrought the miracle of life out of death and the bare slopes will burst with blossom. One unburnt hill will mean a jungle growth of grass and weeds and the valley spread will mean less Christ fullness. This is the law of God, both natural and spiritual. No fire, no fire, lily, 
no ashes, no beauty. This is the secret of the fire lily. This is the meaning of surrender. But there were only ashes. When he came, saying, My daughter, thou hast tried to serve in thine own way, but now stretch forth thy hands, that I may lead thee out of self's dark cell, and work my will through thee. Then, when thou hast ceased to be, I said, My youth is gone, my strength is gone, my life, it lies before thee, bear and sere, for very shame. I cannot offer thee these ashes that are left me, grey and drear. Yet work thy will in me, and teach me not to be. Then through the ashes of that fading fire, he breathed his breath, and when the ash had fled, laid on some smouldering embers, a live coal that was his life, his love all flaming red. Thy will be done to me, so thy will be done to me, so shall I live in thee. Before God gives a blessing, he writes a sentence of death on the means leading up to it. Amen. As we see the beautiful word turn to ashes, Psalm 20 verse 3, and we see that God makes everything beautiful after everything has been turned down. Similarly, in our life, God will exalt us. For he is the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, verse 6 is true. He is our I am who I am. Exodus 3, verse 14. And the word is true. Exodus 33, verse 14. My presence shall go with thee, and I will give you rest. As we read in Exodus 33, verse 14. And he will deliver us. He will carry us. He will carry us even in our gray hair and old age. As we read the word from Isaiah 46, verse 6. And Isaiah 46, verse 10 says that from the beginning he knows thee and hallelujah. He is our living God and Revelation 19 verse 6 says, He is the omnipotent God who reigns. Revelation 19 verse 16 says that He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. As the word is true in Psalm 121, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper, the Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life the Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and for evermore. Hallelujah. Yes, the word is true and let us arise and shine. Isaiah 60 verse 1 is true. For let us bless his name for he daily rules us with benefits. As we read in Psalm 68 verse 19, the word 
is true. And the word is true which says, as we read in Psalm 68, verse 4, 5, 6, it says, His name is Yah. He is the father of the fatherless, the defender of the widows. He sets the bound into prosperity and places the single in families. Hallelujah. Yes, every word is true. Let us be encouraged and also let us never quit in life. For Matthew 6 verse 34 says, Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Enough are the cares of the day. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you that the Lord Jesus Christ is always there with us and he loves us and cares for each one of us. So let us also be encouraged and love our living God with all our heart, mind, soul and strength. Exodus 20 is the first commandment written by the finger of God and also let us be in the presence of our living God by reading the Bible every day. For there is nothing impossible for our living God. Matthew 19, 26 is true. What he said, he will do it. Hallelujah. Let us wait upon him and also let us be in his presence. Let us pray for those who are on the sickbed. Abba, Father, we come in your presence. Touch my every brother, sister, children who are on the sickbed. Heal them in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. For with the wounds and the stripes that you suffered for us, you heal us. You took our infirmities and carried our diseases as we read the word from Matthew chapter 8 verse 17 Isaiah 53 verse 5 we pray that you bless each one of us you came in this world not for the righteous but sinners for repentance as we read in Matthew 9 verse 13 and help us to grow in the Thank you for loving us and this time to pray. Give each one of us the wisdom for our daily life. Thank you for this time. This prayer we ask in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Numbers chapter 6, 24 to 27. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.